Hello everyone. Welcome to Odoo Amazon Connect video guide powered by MA Pro. In today's video, we will be discussing about how to import FBA orders from Amazon to Odoo. So, let us begin. Amazon provides a shipment report which contains the details about the FBA orders which are delivered by Amazon to customers. Now, in order to import those FBA orders, we need to make a request to Amazon to generate those shipment reports. Once those shipment reports are generated by Amazon, we try to download them and process them in Odoo. Once those shipment reports are processed at Odoo, it will create the sales order and its related delivery orders. Under that delivery orders, it will update the tracking reference number details in it because these orders are already delivered by Amazon. Now, there are two possible ways to get those shipment reports from Amazon. First, that is the automated way using the scheduled jobs. Second, that is the manual way. So, let us see one by one both the methods. So, let's start with the first one that is the automated way. For that, we go to Amazon. I go to configuration and Amazon settings. Under the Amazon seller menu, let us first select the seller account for the demonstration that is Amazon demo. Then I go to FBA orders and under that there is an option that says request FBA shipment report. So if I enable this option, we can configure the scheduled job over here, which at regular time interval make requests to Amazon to generate the shipment reports. Along with that, there's another option that says download and process the FBA shipment report. So, if the request which has been generated by this scheduled job and if the reports are generated and now if I enable this one, so here you can configure the another scheduled job which will download all those generated shipment reports from Amazon and will process it in Odoo. So, this was the automated way. Now, let's look the manual way. So, for that, you go to FBA, Orders and Returns. FBA shipments. So this is the listing of all those shipping reports over here. Let's get into the details. So on the screen you can see there are several fields. So first one is seller. So here we need to select the seller account for which we are generating the shipment report. Similarly there is a date. So under here this is the date range for which we are generating the shipment report. And now as this record is a new one, the current stage is the draft. Once we click on the request report, it will generate a request to Amazon and it will change to submitted. Now, if you want to know what is the status of our request which has been generated at the Amazon, we can click on the check status button over here. So if the request is still under the preparation by Amazon, it will change to in progress. And if that request is generated by the Amazon or fulfilled by the Amazon, it will change to done so that means the report is generated by Amazon and you can click on the get report button so it will fetch up that report and process the orders from it. Now whether that's an automated way or the way this is the manual way while processing those order we need to keep in mind several configuration. So under the Amazon seller configuration there is an option that says FBA workflow so when those orders are processed it will consider this workflow option over here and based on that the orders will be processed. Similarly under the Amazon marketplace for a specific marketplace it will consider this specific warehouse for those specific orders of those marketplace. Also under the shipment report, we receive the information about the fulfillment centers. Now, let's first go to the warehouses. So for a specific warehouse, there are several fulfillment centers being configured over here. So under the shipment report, we find this information. So if we find this information under the shipment report, so while processing those orders, Based on the fulfillment center code, we try to find out that warehouse and that warehouse will be set for those orders. So these are the two ways of getting the Amazon shipment report in Odoo. So first one was the automated way by schedule job. Second one was the manual way. Now 
there is one more configuration that we need to check for the shipment report. So for that, let's go to Amazon configuration, Amazon settings. So to load up the settings screen over here, we try to select the seller account and we go to FB order section. So there is an option that says, does another software feed the FBA shipment reports? So what does this mean? Now think of a case where in parallel to the Amazon connector, there is a third party tool which is making a request to generate those shipment report to Amazon. So in that case, if you don't want that Amazon connector should make a request of generating those report, you can just enable this option. So now the Amazon connector will not make a request of generating those shipment report, but instead it will just download those shipment report which are already requested by the third party tool. So now if this option is selected over here, you can just go to Amazon Odoo menu and list shipping report. So here you just need to specify for which seller account you want to download those shipment report and here you need to specify the date range. So here it will not request a shipment report to Amazon but instead it will just download the report and process it. So in summary we have seen that how we import the FBA orders from Amazon by making a request. So we saw the two possible ways that is the automated one and the manual one. Thank you very much for watching the video. We hope the video was useful. MEPro specializes in customization, consultancy and support for any Odoo services. Feel free to contact us on www.meprotechnologies.com.